Hi, welcome to Cowboy Studio. Today, we're gonna to discuss our RL02 red rig. Now, as you can see, we are gonna show it with the rig. We are gonna demonstrate the follow focus and the matte box for you to be able to see kind of how to put this together and use. Now, first thing you're gonna receive, we're gonna to put together is the rig. You're gonna receive the main part, two smaller poles, one much larger and longer pole, and the shoulder support. Now first thing you can do is actually take the longer pole and screw it into the already drilled out hole for the shoulder support. Now it is gonna have a part that's already screwed in, so you're just gonna go ahead and twist it right inside there. Now be careful not to actually break off this pole because once you have that screwed in there, if it were to break off, it is kind of stuck in there. There's not really gonna be a way to get it out. Now once you have the shoulder support, as you can see, it's a nice padded covered shoulder support actually going to set that to the side. Next thing we want to do is actually attach the two smaller rods. Now as you can see right here on the front there are two holes designated for this. Now they are going to face this way underneath the plate. These are going to actually be what holds the follow focus and what holds the mat box. So you simply slide them in. Make sure you have plenty of length as you can see from the front. Maybe just a little bit sticking at the back. And then this screw, this little metal wing nut right here, you're actually going to tighten it up and it will tighten this side. So you're gonna go ahead and make sure they're pretty, pretty close to even. It makes it a little bit easier when attaching the other pieces. And you're gonna tighten up both sides. So they should be sticking out several inches. Now as you can see on the handles, there are screws on top here as well. So you wanna try and position the handles a little bit and then tighten those up as well. Now you can reposition those at a later time, um, but at the beginning, that's when you want to. Now next, you're actually gonna attach the shoulder support. Now what you're going to do is actually, you want to position this a little bit more because um, as you can see mine is a little bit swinging. So you want to position it a little bit more and tighten this up some. Not completely tight, you want to be able to move it a little bit later, um, but there. So then you're going to slide the pole right into here and go ahead and tighten that up. Now as you can see, it does allow for a nice shoulder support. Now while you have this position, you can go ahead and adjust the hands and adjust it to where it's comfortable for you for a good, nice, comfortable shooting position. And then once you have all of that set, you're gonna go ahead and tighten up the handles. Make sure they're a good, even amount apart. Tighten up those handles so you can start shooting. Now that we have our rig assembled, we can actually attach the follow focus. Now on the follow focus, it does have the handle, so you can actually uh, change the focus on there. The, and the attachment part. Now this actually is going to attach around the lens of your camera. Okay, and once you actually get that onto the rig, you will actually show you how to put it on. But as you can see, this does have a red screw at the bottom that actually makes it adjust. I recommend putting it a little bit farther out and tightening it up. Now that does kind of make a difference when actually putting together, uh, putting your camera on. But you're gonna go ahead and slide this over the two poles, just like so. Now be careful to not get it stuck on here, but you wanna actually just slide it on now having them at the you know, same length does make a little bit of a difference. But once you do get those in, you're gonna slide it in. Now if you're right-handed or left-handed, it does make a difference, so make sure you're comfortable with the side that you're putting it on. In this case, I am right-handed, so I went ahead and put it to where I can change the focus with my right hand. Now you're going to kind of adjust it on. Um, another way to do this is actually go the opposite direction and put on the, or in this case, but you can actually just unscrew these to make it a little bit easier for yourself. Remove them and actually attach them in one at a time. Which in this case, they're a little bit harder. So if that if it does go in a little bit harder, you can unscrew it a little bit. It'll actually release some of the thing and then slide it back in. Now either way, it does work and then you're just going to go ahead and slide these back into the holes. Now once you get them in, as you can see, things do tighten up quite a bit, so you want to actually unscrew them and get them right back. There we go. Okay. Get everything tightened back up here. Now that we have our follow focus attached, you can actually attach the matte box. Same thing, you want to loosen them up, 
and it should just slide right over the top. Or you can do the same thing and actually attach the follow focus and the matte box at the same time as we did earlier. Now make sure you loosen up the dial. Or in my case, I actually tightened it. <laughs> you're going to tighten it back up. Now when you attach your camera, what you want to do is kind of loosen up this follow focus a little bit underneath once you have it on so that it can slide back and forth. Okay? You would actually attach your camera and put this around the lens. You would get it around there and you would actually tighten up this bottom screw towards right around there. And then once you have it in there, okay, you're actually going to slide it to where the two gears actually attach to each other. And then when you turn this, it's actually going to move the focus. Now make sure this long part is actually gonna be the part that attaches to it, just because you wanna have as much room so you can you know, adjust your focus as possible. Now once you've got it in there and everything's set and it's at the right position, then you're gonna go actually ahead and attach it. Now if you have any questions about this product or any of the other ones, please feel free to visit our cowboystudio.com website.